the tube. Is the tube fitted round here? It should. It should extend. So whether whether that ring there, I've never actually seen one because on our old line, the BBMF, this system has all been deleted. Oh, I don't, yeah. But it comes out in a concertina sock. Yeah. Into the airplane, and then yeah. the fuel. This this opens. It allows the fuel out, yeah. so. But that'll be a bit new, well, a bit further down the road when I yeah. do this clean. Yeah. I'll take it, that. Is that sealed off now, the tank? As far as I know, but it must be otherwise. the piece of wood with a bolt in here and a piece of wood across here to pull that down. Yeah. And there, one supposes that was to seal it. Yeah. So God knows the last time when this was a part or even used in, the, uh, yeah. in action, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just cleaning this aperture here is where the fuel pump bolts to. So we're just getting rid of the old muck around yeah. there. Slow process. So where does the fuel... Oh, I hear you've got some... Off over it, have you? Yeah, that's to keep the muck out of the tank. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's been, yeah. And you never found out what that was for, did you? Not yet, no, <laughs> I haven't. Yeah. When I do, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very interesting, Jared. Oh. John was removing the area of the floor that held the radar and the downward identification lights. Part of the floor's framework already removed. This section is from when the roof collapsed on the Lancaster KB976 at Woodford, Manchester in August 1987. This is the section which is forward of the door and it shows you the extent of the hangar roof coming in and crushing it. It's a nice, neat job. Yeah, it ain't come out too bad. No. Morning, Phil. Hello, Nev. Up at this side, yeah. yeah we've, we've done all those now. And down there. Yeah. We need to right now, so we've done all these. We've got a few more to do there. And then it'll be uh, rub it down and wait for the Ready for painting? Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. Got to it's painting. Have you got the. Oh, you've got these in as well, have you? Yeah, these are the, the ones from Jane. So we've had to sort of position these uh, to suit this bit because this obviously is from Jane. Yeah. We had to make some new strips to go in there in the middle. So again, it's a case of once this lot's been done, once these skis have been done, painted, yeah, we, and, and pieced on that bit there, then we can look to rivet this. Yeah, you can get the back end done then. Yeah. 
I'm using that to make sure I get the correct depth on the countersink. Oh, I see. That, that. It, yeah, periodically, you just pop it in the hole. You, you yeah. Just to make sure that it's right. Yeah. So, if it's right, it's nice and fresh like that. That's how you know you got it. There's an adjustment on the countersink tool. Ah, let me have like a look. This bit is is actually serrated, so you can separate it. The well, skin, if you yeah. were correct. I mean, if you look at that, you can just, when it's all in position, you can just see the amount of the, the countersink just popping through. Yes, you can. Yeah, I've got it now. Yeah. That's just to make sure that it's in the right amount. Yeah. It's all clever stuff. Yeah, it's a handy tool, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. So we spend five minutes setting it all up and making sure it's right, and then as I say, you just check it as you're going along. Yeah. Make sure it hasn't yeah. changed at all. You know, the, the tool becomes worn, obviously. That round circle, is that your last one? Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this piece of skin um, has obviously been damaged by damaged by uh, fire, I understand this was you, so um, we've obviously repaired all the stringers here and this piece of skin, I'm just in this process of removing it, there's the joint there, uh, cutting it out and manufacturing a new piece of skin yeah. uh, that will go in here and replace it, it'll slide underneath this, pick up these two rivet lines here, go back to that frame yeah. there. Have you got some rivets still running along horizontal along the top? No, I mean they've all been removed. They've got, yeah. they're, they're all one eight um, uh, dome head rivets or universal head. Oh, mushroom head actually is the proper term for it. Um, effectively, the new piece of skin will slide underneath here, yeah. and then we'll replace the rivets uh, back in the original holes, and it'll yeah. grip it up nicely. Yeah. Is that ready for coming out now then? Uh, no, see I've, I've uh, cut through the front part of the damage up until onto that skin. I've cut through the majority of the skin. The hardest part is there's a little half inch piece of skin underneath there that I just have to file away with a tiny little... Oh, I see, like yeah, that. just to cut it off, yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to cut it off, so it just takes a little bit more time and then I'll have that on the workbench and we'll be able to make a new piece of skin. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, Phil. All, all, all good progress.
that we have on this scale. Good.